This Sunday, November 28th, we'll see presidential elections here in Honduras, a country currently racked by crime, violence, food insecurity and corruption. Ahead by 17 points in the polls is leftist opposition candidate Xiomara Castro, wife of a former president who was deposed in a coup in 2009. If victorious, she would be the country's first female president. This woman who is speaking to you now will be the next president of Honduras. She's facing Nasri Asfura, the mayor of Tegucigalpa, whose party has been in power the past 12 years. But plagued by allegations of corruption, the current president's own brother is serving a life sentence in U.S. prison for drug trafficking. Few expect him to win. They can publish any report that says I'm up or down in polls. The only day that matters is November 28th. That's when we will vote. Despite Castro's front-runner status, electoral fraud remains a serious concern for many Hondurans. The 2017 vote is widely considered to have been stolen by President Juan Orlando Hernández. Ensuing riots left more than 30 people dead. Salvador Nasraya was the opposition candidate who lost that election. He's now on the ballot to serve as vice president and is anticipating more foul play. ¿Qué pasó durante 2017? In 2017, the ruling party organized riots with the leaders dressed in the uniforms of the opposition to make us look like the antagonists on the international stage. I believe the same thing will happen again during this Sunday's election. However, international electoral monitoring organizations are in Honduras. Alice Shackelford is the United Nations resident coordinator and says the organization has done as much as possible to avoid a repeat of four years ago. The electoral management bodies have gone through a transformation and a reform following the situation of 2017. And second, I think that some of the elements which have been identified in previous elections around a possible fraudulent behaviors have been reduced. Nonetheless, I am not going to say that that is 100% confirmed and, you know, not going to have some fraudulent behaviours. Alastair Bavastock, CGTN, Tegucigalpa, Honduras.